So the philosophy is that uh, it, it, it is uh, it is you know uh, relatively simple. Uh, the practice is really hard. Um, so I wouldn't say the philosophy really evolved all that much for me. Um, before I got really exposed to value investing through Buffett's lecture at a Bruce Greenwald's class, uh, I think my whole approach to life was pretty much a set along similar lines. And so there's not much of a jump for me. Um, the idea of uh, buying something at a discount <clears throat> or something that really worth more is just is simply intelligent. So I would say almost all intelligent investing involves some kind of a value investing. And now the difference is, is that your focus on value evolves uh, <clears throat> over time. And to different individuals, they tend to focus different areas uh, of value. Uh, for me, when I first started as a value investor, this is now 27, 28 years ago when I bought my first stock, uh, I didn't really know much about uh, business. Uh, I, I know I was born and raised in uh, China during the uh, Cultural Revolution. There was not much of a private business or market economy back then. So I had to learn everything new. Uh, and so... Uh, at the beginning, uh, obviously, I looked for value uh, primarily uh, on the balance sheet in the, in the classic uh, style of Benjamin Graham, <clears throat> looking for a cigarette butt, uh, looking for the last puff, basically, <laughs> uh, looking for statistically cheap businesses and ignore what the business really is. Uh, <clears throat> and that served me well. And then over time, I evolved into understanding smaller businesses. And because uh, I was just intensively curious about how business run. So much so, actually, I evolved into uh, uh, help funding or uh, co-creating a dozen of those early stage uh, startup companies. And that experience has taught me a lot about uh, how businesses run, what constitute a good or bad or mediocre businesses. And so over time, it evolved into looking for really good businesses, small maybe, but really good businesses. Uh, and then that leads me to look for good businesses in Asia, and eventually for businesses with enduring competitive advantage uh, with a long uh, growth trajectory ahead of them. And so... The places where we're looking for value evolves over time. But the basic philosophy has pretty much remained the same. Uh, it's just our core competence expanded over time. 